Hey, election officials all across the state are certifying the results from last week's election, and we could know the outcome of several big races that so far have been too close to call. Others, though, could be heading to a recount. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Hyland, live right now in Raleigh. I know, Michael, several protests were even filed this morning disputing how many mail-in votes have been counted or are being counted. Yeah, Wake County's Board of Elections here behind me is dealing with that issue right now. Republican Supreme Court Justice Paul Newby filed protests today in eight different counties over how the mail-in ballots were handled. He is in a very tight race against Democrat Sherry Beasley. When I last checked, he is up by only about 200 votes over her out of more than 5.3 million cast in that race. Newby's protests also mentioned the close race for Attorney General potentially being impacted. The protests focused on mail-in ballots that arrived after Friday, which is the the deadline under state law. However, a Supreme Court ruling allowed that deadline to be moved to yesterday. Newby also claims some ballots were approved that did not have a postmark and that some did not have the outside envelopes filled out properly, for example, having issues with the witness signature. This morning, Robinson County's Board of Elections already dismissed Newby's protest. They said that it doesn't appear that any laws are broken, that there were any irregularities or misconduct. Wake County's board is considering it right now. This race is one that we do expect to go to a recount count having talked to the Democratic and Republican Party officials. We're going to keep an eye on things and keep you updated throughout the day as these results get finalized. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.